Good morning, children. Praise the Lord. We meet again today. Stay happy and healthy in this new day. Before we start our activities, let us start the day with a meditation with God's word this morning. And today, let's continue our adventure to know God's creation from God's amazing grace and book. And this morning, we will sail together on Jonah's cruise. Before we proceed, shall we start with a prayer? Thank you, Lord, for the new day. Now we are ready to listen to your words. May your Holy Spirit be within us to bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our memory verse for today is from Jonah chapter 1 verse 17. It says, But the Lord sent a huge fist to swallow Jonah, and Jonah was inside the feast three days and three nights. Children, going on a cruise is a great way to take a vacation. You've got all the food you can eat and lots of sun and sea. Cruises usually have lots of fun things for kids to do too. Who wouldn't like a cruise? Well, there's one man in the Bible who signed up for a cruise and ended up taking a three-day ride he hadn't bargained for. Jonah was not happy about the job God had given him. So, instead of going to Nineveh to deliver a message, Jonah instead bought a ticket to a city in the opposite direction. He packed light, got on the ship, went to his cabin, and lay down for a nap. Soon, a huge storm began to toss the ship back and forth. It got so bad that the crew feared for their lives. Then it got even worse. The sailors believed that a storm this bad had to come from God. So they threw dice to find out who had caused it. God made the dice show that it was Jonah. Poor Jonah admitted he was running from God and told the sailors to draw him overboard. They didn't want to, but at last they cheat. Down Jonah splashed into the raw seas. Immediately, the sea calmed, but that only helped Jonah for a moment. He was afloat far from land until, of course, you know, the rest of the story. A huge fish swallowed Jonah, and he began a three-day cruise. There were no fun activities for Jonah on this cruise, but there was plenty of time for him to think about how God had spared his life by sending the giant fish. He prayed for God to forgive him and prayed that God would save him from cruising for the rest of his life inside a feast. In three days, Jonah got his answer. The feast threw him up on land. With a repentant heart, Jonah went straight to Nineveh. Children, we don't really know what type of sea creature swallowed Jonah. But it's a great reminder that sometimes God uses His creation to protect us and to teach us a lesson. Children, this is the end of our morning worship. 
We just got together on Jonas Cruz. A story that reminds us again when Jonah tried to run from God and then the consequences he had to bear. In fact, he had to be in the belly of a big fish for three days. But thank God, it was in this state that he prayed for God to forgive him and prayed that God would save him from cruising for the rest of his life inside of a fish. And God answered his prayer. Children, we don't really know what type of sea creature swallowed Jonah, but it's a great reminder that sometimes God uses his creation to protect us and to teach us a lesson. Let's thank God for all of his wonderful creations. May the Lord bless and protect all of the children on this wonderful day. Amen. The Bible tells